Let's bring in somebody we saw yesterday there in the Senate Judiciary Room, the Louisiana Republican Senator, John Kennedy, member of that committee. Senator, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so first of all, I hope you have a big cup of coffee because it could be at <laughs> least 11 hours today. Good luck to you. Um, Lindsey Graham has got a schedule. You know, he would like to get this out of committee as soon as possible. But you got to figure the Democrats are going to throw every road block procedurally in your way what what sort of tricks could they possibly have up their sleeve uh, good question i uh, i watched my democratic colleagues very carefully yesterday um you know that feeling you get when you wake up in the morning and you've got to go to the bathroom but you just don't want to get out of bed that, that's kind of where the Democrats are. They're, they're, they're very uncertain right now. On the one hand, they don't want to turn this hearing um, into another freak show. Uh, they don't want to make it circus freak crazy because that repulsed the American people last time. On the other hand, a big part of their base is the, um, the left of Lenin, Bernie bro, uh, uh, I deserve you owe me burn it all down crank wing and they want blood and so the, the it'll be very interesting to see what my Democratic colleagues do today the, the other point I'd make is, is um, uh, she's very hard to attack I mean she's a very good candidate and uh, uh, she's just gonna be very hard to, to attack they're gonna mm -hmm. try and I know we'll talk about this. They're, 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 the centerpiece of their attack is going to be affordable care. But so far, um, you ever seen one of those uh, those uh, high-powered manure guns that shoots the manure out into the crop on the farmland? That's what it's been like so far. I don't think they've laid a glove on it. Oh my gosh, we had one guest who said he's fed up with it and doesn't even think we should have these confirmation hearings. This is what your Democratic colleagues uh, said yesterday during the hearing. Watch this. Donald Trump and Senate Republicans know that the American people don't want this, so they have to act now. They don't trust the American people. It must seem outrageous that Donald Trump and Senate Republicans are determined to take away their health care. President Trump is attempting to roll back Americans' rights. Your participation in any case involving Donald Trump's election would immediately do explosive, enduring harm. Potentially very harmful consequences with regards to the election, the Affordable Care Act, and long settled rights. This isn't Donald Trump's country. It is yours. This shouldn't be Donald Trump's judge. It should be yours. Senator, what can we expect today? Well, yesterday, my Democratic colleagues, uh, you'll not be surprised to learn, made a, a number of evidence-free accusations. They, they're coordinated. They're very well-versed uh, in the stuff they make up. And they made up a lot yesterday. And uh, to hear of yesterday that Judge Barrett is on a mission from God to single-handedly deny health insurance to all Americans. And uh, that's preposterous and, you know, put down the bong. No, no, Americans don't believe that. My colleagues think Americans are morons, you know? I think most Americans see right through this. Um, what they see is a, is a very accomplished jurist. And that's why my, my Democratic friends are doing all this. They can't attack her on her qualifications. So they're going to say, they're going to bring this up over and over again. Will you recuse yourself if this, if this election is thrown to the Supreme Court, number right. one? And number two, will you recuse yourself when this Supreme Court decision comes your way November 11th when it comes to severability and Obamacare? Right. And she will say? She'll say the short answer is no, the long answer is hell no. <laughs> okay. What do you expect to go at in terms of your line of questioning? How do you uh, plan to approach it? What questions do you want answered? I'm going to talk about our judicial philosophy and the, uh, the changing role of the federal judiciary in the American system of government. I'm going to make sure that she understands that judges aren't supposed to rewrite the Constitution every other Thursday to advance some social agenda that the voters won't accept. 
You know, uh, we know what's going to happen today. When a Republican is speaking, it's going to be uh, positive about the judge and, you know, her attributes and why she should be confirmed. And then the Democrats are going to, uh, you know, as you said, talk about Donald Trump, uh, the Affordable Care Act, history and things like that. Isn't that just the best card they've got? Because they can't derail this thing. Well, let me say first, um, we need to have these hearings. This is important. Uh, this job is one of the most uh, powerful unelected positions in the Western world. And my, our job, my job, is to make sure the president hadn't made a mistake. A and so I think it's perfectly appropriate that we test the nominee's intellect and character and judgment and judicial philosophy. Now, having said that, um, I, I, know a, I know an accomplished jurist when I see one, and she's pretty good, and I think she'll be able to handle it. But what you're going to see, I don't know what extent they'll go. I don't, I'm not saying they'll turn it into another uh, uh, freak show, but, but, but they can't hit her much on her qualifications, so, so, so they've got to hit her on tangential issues. I mean, one professor, I think out of Boston, has already said she's a racist for a, adopting two children of color. I mean, I'm going to say it again. Put down the bong, man, if that's the best you've got. Do you think they should be behind closed doors, though, so it's not the circus and people saying things just because they know they're on television? No, no. The American people need to see this. Uh, a nominee, unelected, serving for life, right. all-powerful, mm -hmm. needs to stand up in front of God and country and the American people and answer tough questions. But they ought to be questions that are fair. Uh, not not a bunch of rubbish, like Sen we saw in the Kavanaugh hearings. Senator, when, when Steve brought up what kind of antics do you expect to start this segment, I think Senator Schumer kind of let us know yesterday, or it might have been Sunday, I, don't, I forgot which day they were actually recorded, when he said, uh, we have no plans to give them a quorum in committee, no plans to give them a quorum when this vote goes to the House floor saying it gets there. And of course, that means you need two Democrats to be there. I don't care how they vote, we'll probably be no. But they won't show up. If they don't show up, then you got to pass a measure to have a vote without them, just creating more of a delay. How reasonable, how plausible is that? Well, I saw Chuck's comments. Um, you, you've got to understand where Senator Schumer is right now. He's right now. He's like a teenager. He's mad at everybody. I don't know if he'll carry through on the threat. But if my Democratic colleagues try to uh, treat the committee rules in a perverse way, we will respond. And I believe this nominee will make it to the Senate floor and we'll have an up and, d up and down vote uh, before the election and the American people can decide whether we did the right thing or not. I trust them. All right. Well, it's going to be a big day. Senator John Kennedy of the great state of Louisiana. Sir, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you.